Hello, we are starting today with the muscles of the neck. One of the key muscles of the neck is sternocleidomastoid muscle. The important thing about this muscle is it divides the neck into anterior and posterior triangles. This muscle is covered superficially by skin, fascia, the platysma muscle and the external jugular vein. Excessive stretching of this muscle during a difficult labor causes congenital torticollis. The spinal part of this sensory nerve and C2 and C3 spinal nerve supply this muscle. Muscles of the two sides act together. When they act together, they extend the head and flex the neck, while one muscle acting alone rotates the head to the opposite side. Platysma muscle is supplied by facial nerve, and the function of this muscle is to depress the mandible and the angle of the mouth. Trapezius muscle is supplied by spinal part of the accessory nerve and C3 and C4 spinal nerves. The function of trapezius muscle is to elevate the scapula. that is done by the upper fibers whereas lower fibers pull the scapula downwards the middle fibers of the trapezius muscle pull the scapula medially scalenius anterior muscle almost descend vertically from the vertebral column to the first rib carotid arteries vagus nerve internal jugular vein and deep cervical lymph nodes along with the phrenic nerves are the structures that are present anterior to the scalenius anterior muscle Pleura brachial plexus the second part of the subclavian artery and the scalenius medius muscle is present posterior to the scalenius anterior muscle vertebral artery and vertebral vein sympathetic trunk and on the left side the medial border is related to the thoracic duct these structures are present medial to the muscle branches and roots of the brachial plexus along with the third part of the subclavian artery these structures are present lateral to the muscle Suprahyoid muscles of the neck include digastric muscle, sclerohyoid muscle, mylohyoid and genohyoid. Hyoid and the posterior belly of digastric is supplied by the facial nerve whereas the mylohyoid nerve which is a mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve these nerves supply the anterior belly of digastric as well as mylohyoid. Supply of genohyoid muscle is through the C1 C1 through the hypoglossal nerve. The function of the suprahyoid muscle in general is to depress the mandible or elevate the hyoid bone. except stylohyoid muscle which is only responsible for the elevation of the hyoid bone it has no effect on the depression of the mandible sternohyoid sternothyroid thyrohyoid omohyoid and fear superior belly are the inferior hyoid muscle of the neck so infrahyoid muscles of the neck all of them are supplied by ansa cervicalis except the thyrohyoid muscle which is supplied through c1 through the hypoglossal nerve the function of the infrahyoid muscle is to depress the hyoid bone whereas the function of the sternothyroid muscle and thyrohyoid muscles uh yeah, they also affect the larynx sternothyroid depress the larynx whereas thyrohyoid elevates the larynx these muscles are important for your mcq so it's important for you to memorize all of the details especially the nerve supply and the function of these muscles i hope this video helps you to recall at last moment thank you for listening